welcome back to another video. And today I have the Fire Chief Fire Chief response truck. So this set originally debuted in the beginning of or end of twenty nineteen maybe. Or beginning early twenty twenties anyway. And it is a two hundred and one pieces and official set six zero two three one. And originally, the starting price is thirty dollars in the U.S. So uh, today, I'll be reviewing it and seeing if it's actually worth the price. So here we go. So first of all, you get your. I'm gonna start with this one actually. So this is a a new approach for Lego. Like you have this weird fire piece on a ski or a slide. It just kind of sits there and then knock off, but I guess whatever. And then there's this electric box, which is pretty boring. It's just... But you get this this window frame piece with these... Uh, some electrical circuits in there. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, a 4x4. Four four. Uh, ah, whatever. But you get the idea. There's this thing. And then you have your main truck over here, which is the fire marshal. So you got two people. You got this this guy, or there are no no exclusive helmet or face print or legs or anything. This is just a standard firefighter. And then uh, you have Freddy McCloud, which is from the Lego TV show. You got that new, this hair piece is used, I think, in the new Batman movies for that lady Batman, I forget her name, uh, a gold hair band, and then Color South, that's a new uh, print, and then she has an alternative face, like, uh, not angry, but, you know, determined, I guess, and then happy. I think this is a new torso print along with the head. So, there's that. And then, I've... This. There's a couple of things. A lot of things are wrong with it. I'm going to start with the wrong first. One, I think the set is way too expensive for how small it is. It hardly has any pieces, but it's... $30, which I think is a bit pricey for Lego. You only get two people. 201 pieces, and then it's just not a good, very good deal for Lego. So let's start with... I'm going to go with the truck one. The ladder just doesn't look good in the middle. So, I, I mean, you can just do that. and I just put it off to the side like that. And it looks... A lot better. But another thing wrong with it is in order to take off the roof, you have to take off the ladder. And then sometimes this piece will come off with it. It's just kind of annoying. Oops. Whatever. But the interior is actually pretty big. You got a screen, the radar, not radar, but yeah, computer screen, and then like a dashboard. Steering wheel. This can actually fit two people. One uh, sitting regularly and the one on their side. Like that. But sitting down. You have to take off his helmet now. So, is that. The lights. I originally thought these were going to be like the, the electronic ones that they had in that one pony set. The new one that like makes the obnoxious sound. And when the batteries die, it goes like... Wee! Whatever. And then another thing I don't like, on the back, well, you're supposed to anyway. I didn't put this because, yeah, I didn't want to. I put it in this compartment. But you're supposed to put this. I Heart Gaming, which, uh, no offense, but I think it's kind of stupid. You're supposed to put that on there. But I just cut out the sticker and kept it, put it in here. But, I mean, it's a fire truck. You don't have that. On a fire truck, so no, I think that was dumb. But this thing is actually really cool. 
you have like this this water cannon thingy. It's actually a really nice design. You have the water can back here. Nice translucent translucent light blue two by two uh cylinder and then a rope and then this new spray gun with the star on it. Uh, I'm probably never gonna see that again. But it, it fits right here and then it just slides into the back here and then it holds in there really nicely. Which is nice. And then got a fire extinguisher here, compartment that says traffic cones in it, another compartment I put Freddy McLeod's little cup in here, which I think I really like this. It has a little uh like marshmallow toasty on there, which is kinda cute. Uh, that's an exclusive print right there. Oh, Hold on. There we go. Exclusive print right there. We have these bars, which you can have the guy just, you know, stand on the side of it with the little steps right there. And on the other side, jeez, I'm just messing this up. You have another... Two more compartments, one with just some extra pieces that I put in here. It would be empty. And then this one, which I put the gaming sticker in there. And then a megaphone in this black. And then a walkie-talkie. And this new design for a fire axe. This has already come in a couple other in the fire sets, like a big crane that like the building on the construction site but i really like this new fire axe it actually looks like a fire axe instead of the old just black hatchet which kind of looks like a golf club that's what some people use that's it use that but i overall i think this is a pretty nice build it really actually looks like a fire marshal i just don't like how i think that the ladder comes off a lot it's it's centered, which, like, in real life, if they had to get the ladder off, it'd be harder to get it off because it'd be in the exact middle of the truck. And then there's that gaming sticker. And that, it's just really overpriced. And then I don't like how there's a slide thing that just sits on there. Like, the old fire ones were a lot better when there was, like, a dumpster with the actual fire that cooked inside. But I guess, like... What you can do is take the water gun and you, like, just shoot it at the fire and the fire goes out. But I guess that's probably what you're supposed to do, actually. You shoot the fire off and then that represents it, the fire going out. <laughs> With an electric box. Pretty nice build. But, uh, let's look at the instructions and then the final thing. So here I have the two instructions. There are two instruction manuals for this. I think they could have made just one. Like if I stack these together, it's not that big of a book. So you should have just had one. I guess that, would that increase the price? I don't know. There's this new one at the bottom here. And two. Usually they look a bit different. But a nice scene of the fire. Kind of putting out the fire. Yeah, he's shooting it at it. Then the cones, and then Freddy McLeod with the walkie talkie. And on the back, you know, win. Uh, here in the first magazine, we actually get a look at the other sets in this, such as this little 4 plus, little fire crane, this fire boat, which that, with that new water cannon, the burger bar. This is overpriced as well i think with the water jet cannon thingy and then this is the first set i ever saw with the fire axe and it's right there that's the fire axe but uh big water cannon i don't even know how, i think this is a hundred dollars maybe more and this is ninety dollars the new fire station that's a pretty cool truck i like that this looks this little fire marshal right there Looks exactly like the one in the Winter Ski Hospital. Now that I look at it. 
and the, and then the rocket launch pad, the little rocket ship, space station, rover test drive. This is thirty dollars, kind of over expensive. I mean, it's two new minifigures, I guess. Mm. And then the actual spaceship. I like how they're basing these ones off of NASA. They've done other ones before, and you get like a new helmet piece. And the back, just all the pieces. 201 pieces. And then the second one is just um, carrying on from the other one. And the very back just ends. But there's no extra page. You can see I didn't tear it out because the staple is still in there. And you would see like a rip. But it just you know, 72, 73, and then it just ends. Which is kind of dumb because usually on Lego sets it shows like the whole set put together with the people in the next step and show like everything set up. But it doesn't. I just find that a bit weird. But, um,. Yeah, tell me in the comments below if you guys like the set, if you had any different opinions or anything like that, and uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Uh, have a good day. Bye.